Uh, welcome to Jibber Jabber Podcast, and today I'm joined with the amazing, amazing Spencer Wilder. Oh, thanks you very much. Don't, don't give me that Jibber Jabber though. Oh, that's getting used. We had a candle lit. <laughs> we had a candle lit, but we this did. fella didn't like it. So we it fell out. out. The romantic feel lasted for about three seconds. Looked into my eyes, used the force. You know, I never didn't even touch it, went out. I never thought when I was a child that I'd be sitting candle lit with Darth Vader. I had the but, same feeling. But here we are. I'm a thought. <laughs> <laughs> so Spencer, what was it like stepping into the shoes of Darth Vader? Oh, it was awesome. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of the original trilogy, you know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of people used to get scared when they watched Darth Vader coming out. But for some reason, I used to look at him and go, it didn't even phase me, man. It was weird, really weird. And when I met Dave Prowse several years ago, before he even knew I was going to be getting the audition for that character, I shook hands with Dave. I mean, we held a stare with each other for a minute. And I think something passed through, you know. I think he knew. Yeah, I think. Who knows? There was a, there was a, definitely a tremor in the force. Absolutely, you know I mean? absolutely. Um, so, when I was sitting in the cinema watching Rogue One, and uh, Darth Vader appeared on the screen again, it was just like, oh my god, because it's something we didn't expect. So, how did you prepare to become Darth Vader? <coughs> well. It's not my first film. Um, I'm, I'm 40 films in. Yes. Yeah. So they're not going to stick any tall guy in there. It's somebody that does actually open up doorways to the dark side. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I've played a lot of dark characters, and the spirit and the presence came to me, overtook me, and we got the audition, and, and the rest is history, man. So it's so, like you felt the force. The force definitely used me. The force was strong with this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> of all characters you played. What would be your favourite? And I know you. I know we expect you to say Darth Vader. No, you don't know what you, what you might be surprised because because <laughs> every character is played. It, it's not me. It's the character. So I become friends with that character. Believe it or not, my first ever role was playing the werewolf in Azkaban. You know what I mean, Prisoner of Azkaban. And then I went to Batman Begins and Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy and blah 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 blah. I've played the Wolfman. And, yeah, never been in the. Sorry, not Avengers. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. That's me. Need to quit God. my jibber jabber. Yeah, but it, 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 it's just awesome to feel the presence, and uh, every character has got a, got a presence of spirit. And Darth Vader is a dark soul. Do you know what I mean? And he, he really does give you give you the power that you feel what you see on camera. You know, and and, and to get that addition, and for him to take over me the way he did, it, it's chilling. You know, and people felt that on set, and. Uh, it was pretty awesome to play Darth Vader. As I was putting the, the helmet on, I was like, <laughs> you're all gonna get it. <laughs> you know, it was literally one of them. It was pretty awesome. Uh, it's, it's actually unbelievable. Darth Vader, obviously, the character that was supposed to be the baddest guy in the galaxy, and everyone starts to love him. Like Freddy Krueger, they get cool. Isn't it? They get cool isn't all the time. Yeah, isn't if, it? It's great. If there's a, a character that that you, as you said already, you become one with a character and the character takes over you. What characters are out there currently that you would love to step in? <coughs> you know, I've played Frankenstein, I've played the Wolfman. For some reason, I'd love to do the old Dracula. You know what I mean, or the mummy films, I haven't done them yet, but yet, you know, I'm, I'm young, I'm only 46, I'm fit, so who knows, whatever the Empire calls for, you know, I'm sure, because the character chooses you, you don't choose the character, it's, it is one of them, I'm quite a spiritual chap as well, uh, and I'm just very excited for that stuff I'm working on, I'm very excited for what else is to come in the future. I take you, know it, you won't be able to talk much about I can't about talk that. about any of the shows I'm working on, unfortunately, because it's, it's not just signing the single confidentiality, uh, it's one of them, and all different productions. I'm just, I'm just glad to uh, still be working, which is awesome, and, uh, and uh, again to play another awesome characters in, in shows, so it's really cool. I've got to say, like, I'm hoping personally that it's not the end for Darth Vader, and with your work in Rogue One, I'd love to see that again on the screen. And now that Disney are expanding in the Star Wars universe, there's obviously, for me, for Jordan, uh, there's hope yet that we'll see Darth Vader again. I know you might not be able to confirm nor deny, but it would be incredible. Well, you know what? It's an ongoing production, so who knows what the Emperor calls for? You know, me and Dan, two of us play the part. We're both the fans love what we brought, but it's the production's baby. Whatever they want, they get. So uh, that's the way it is. But I'm, you know what? I've played that character. It's nice to move on. I've experienced it. I've, I've, I've top billing for him. You know what I mean? To play the character, and it's just like it's pretty awesome. And thank you very much to the, to the Emperor for letting me do that. You know what I mean? So, but. Uh, it's exciting stuff coming up, so I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. Well, we can't wait to see what 
what you're going to bring again on the screen because the work you've done so far is uh, it's outstanding. So thanks very much for being part of the yeah. Jibber Jabber. And yeah. I really look forward to yeah. seeing that. you on the screen again. Don't underestimate the power of the dark side. <laughs> yeah, use the force, guys, for good. Yeah. And kids, if you're watching, eat your sprouts, listen to mum and dad. If you want to chase your dreams, if you want to be a movie star, you've got to get a proper job, right? A proper job to, to feed them dreams. Don't live off mum and dad. You've got to get life skills. Are you listening? Use the force and be careful crossing the road. <laughs> and quit your jibber jabber. Quit your jibber jabber. Perfect. Spencer, where can everybody find you on social media? Well, I've got my blue tick on Twitter, so you can catch me in at Big Spen Wilding. It's like my nickname, Big Spen, yeah. like Big Spencer. Uh, on Instagram, it's at Spencer Wilding. And you can follow me on official Spencer Wilding on uh, Facebook. Absolutely. Go ahead, like, and share with your friends. Do it. I'm using the force now. <laughs> you will follow me. Do it if you're told or I'll choke you out. <laughs>